Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a special tower reading for my cancers. Yes, today, March 12, there is a full moon in the sign of Virgos. And for you, my cancers, Virgos represent your third house. So if you count counterclockwise until you see Virgos, you'll see number three which represent, again, your third house. So you guys get along really well with Virgos. And so for this forecast, I will do it a little bit differently. Um, I will pull two cards from my current deck, which is Morgan Greer, uh, one card from um, the, the Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle card, uh, Oracle deck, and one from the Archetype card from Carolyn Miss, okay? And so what is the third house? Where will be this emphasis energy for you, uh, my Cancers? Your third house is all about sibling, neighbors, short travel, communication. Uh, it's also about courage, okay? It's when you decide to do something, when you do something with determination. It has to do with the third house, okay? It's a very fun house. It's about uh, getting along with your neighbors and having relationship with friends that are like family. That's the third house, okay? So a lot of energy there. It's a very comfortable house for you because, after all, you represent the family, right? And it's your moon. Any moon in any sign, whether it's new or full, it's, it will always impact uh, cancers because cancers govern the moon. So that's their planet, right? Uh, I know we're not supposed to call the moon planet, but, uh, you know, that's what they govern. And so uh, I'll pull two cards and we'll see what Spirit has to say in terms of messages for you within this cycle. And if you like to book a private reading from me, you can book me on my Facebook page uh, for a private reading, the information below the video. And now my Cancers, on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and I ask Spirit for guidance and I also shuffle the cards as well. Okay. So let's see what we have. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. It came in reverse for me. Not surprising, it's your third house of communication. And then we have also, interesting, okay, there's a lot of things happening. We have the Seven of Rods in reverse, okay, for you as well, okay. So, you know, this could be this third house, um, full moon could be like a Mercury retrograde. A little bit for you okay um, you know whenever is, is a full moon there's always a, a beginning of something there's something that you're starting I could have something to do with the third house but it may not it could be some something else but the energy is a third house so now with the nine of swords in a reverse position you know you know try to really try not to snap I should say okay um, you know this energy this uh, full moon energy in Virgo is, is, will maybe push you to say something or maybe you could be harsh in terms of your words. This is a deck by Morgan Greer, but on the other deck, I think that the other deck is uh, with a Ray ta Tarot. You could see uh, the knight on the horse and he's in a hurry, right? Is air. He's in a hurry to go. So be mindful here with your communication because, you know, the knight of swords is not too... And he's not too like uh, push or polish in terms of his communication. So you maybe uh, direct, okay. And like I said, it could be like a Mercury retrograde where you you may want to keep things to yourself, okay. And or it could just be that maybe other people around you are just being very like uh, communicative with you, okay. And that you know even if you not may not necessarily want to engage, there you find yourself in the middle of, you know, your neighbors, your colleagues, life, your, your you know, your, your wife or your husband, and, and then this and that. You find yourself really involved in other people's life uh, and that, you know, in your communication that could just maybe push you to snap, you know, or, you know, maybe you may feel like you have to be more direct so you can manage that better, okay? And next to the seven of rods, um, you know, in this position, you know, I have to say everything that comes to me, okay? 
but you guys are very intuitive, so you could, you're could you able to see what it could how it could relate to you. But with this, seven of rods in reverse, be mindful that if you do have a, a, a debate or you have a meeting to discuss something, you be mindful, do have a logical approach, okay? Because with the nine of swords, you may not have a logical approach. And if you don't have a logical approach within the next cycle, then that could make you, it could put you in a position that it may not be beneficial for you. Because, again, the seven of rods here is in reverse, okay, when I'm reading the card. But for you, it comes, you can see the card. Uh, so, so that tells me that, you know, you may, you know, that your communication may put you in a position that may not be, a, you know, uh, beneficial for you. Or it could be that you wanting to, uh, you know, help a neighbor or maybe a sibling that you put yourself in a difficult position. Cancers sometimes tend to do so as well. You know, if you are tired or you know you're not able to do that now with the Nine of Swords in reverse, it says make sure you have boundaries, okay? And boundaries sometimes is not necessarily to tell people what's going on. You could just, because it's not the Nine of Swords, it's in reverse, you could just maybe withdraw, okay? But I don't want to say that because having dealt with many cancers myself personally, intimately, when they withdraw, right, you don't want them to withdraw. You never know when they're going to come back, okay? So, but it's mostly that... Is that here, it, within this cycle, I feel like Spirit is telling you, be mindful of how you communicate. Do take a logical approach in your communication. Okay? And I'm not saying this over emotion. I have nothing to do with that. It's just with the energy I'm looking at. It says, you know, you may not take a logical approach to it, and you may not get the results. Okay? Or, like I said, you may involve yourself. Okay? In a battle, uh, in a battle, or some type of issues that your or the people around you put you in, and then for some reason, then you're gonna have to, you know, put yourself out with the way you communicate. I mean, they may not like how you're gonna, you know, you're gonna get it out. Maybe you're gonna snap, <laughs> okay? Because the not, it's not a sword. It's kind of like a snappy energy, okay? Be mindful of that, and let's see. The Wisdom of the House of Light deck. Those are oracle cards, and I will read the description on that is also on the book. And I love this deck because, like I was saying uh, for the other forecasts, is, is this one is, is really goddess's energy. And you can do more than anything know that I, you know, you cannot do uh, a forecast involving new or full moon without you know, involving, you know, this feminine energy, right? No. Because the moon is all feminine energy. That's, that's, that's all it is. Okay. Let's see. All right. So here it says, oh, deceit. Neferi, deceit. Be mindful, I would say I would recommend the next cycle, like, try to pause really long before you say anything. Or not, not even say anything before you get involved. Because Ross, next to it, it's about action. Maybe, you know, communicate clearly. You're able to do that better than anybody else. You're very clever. Maybe take your time before taking action or maybe don't take any action. That's uh, the message. But let's see what it says. Uh, deceit. In bracket, it says Neferit. And the description it says in the book, it says, when you choose the sample of deceit, be very careful about your motive in making your choices, your motives, sorry. In the house of night, there is one who has betrayed herself and all those who looked up to her. I am also warning you that someone may be stabbing you in the back. I don't like that. I mean, I don't like what it says. Regardless of the circumstances, of your question, I warn you about deceit. There will be a price to pay for betrayal in all forms. Only you know how much it will cost. That said, although the energy of betrayal can be seductive, I'm stronger, you are forewarned. Well, take it for what it is, okay? Uh, my cancers, for those that resonate, please leave me comments. I'm curious to know how it resonates. And let me take uh, a card from Wisdom for Healing deck. Let's 
see what spirit says for my cancers. Okay, I felt like taking this one. Be open to spiritual guidance. Oh, I love that. Of course. Of course. Look at the flower. It's such a beautiful picture. The messenger says, ponder this question. How do you expect your prayers and guidance to come to you? Literally, in a vision, are you someone who says, who say that you're waiting for prayers to be answered because you want guidance that includes a safety net? Your goal to own up to your spiritual insecurities and lack of faith. Oh, wow, okay. For some of you, I guess, if, if that resonate, let me know. I mean, I guess that, uh, you know, there'll be a lot of people involved in your life. The third house is, you know, it's a busy house. It's all about mingling. It's a fun house, mind you. But sometimes fun, you know, you it, it gets, you know, depending on who, how you hang out with those people, you get to see who, who they are, you know. And you may not like to hang out with everybody. Okay, so just be mindful of that, my beautiful cancers. I'm going to end this reading here. Let me know how this resonated with you. Leave me comments. Until next time, see you lots of kisses. I love you.